Don't ask how I've died or how did I return to the world of the living. It's October, the month of spookiness. And so I've decided to rise from the grave in order to give you guys some videos again. Is it contrived? Eh, maybe it doesn't matter. What matters is that some videos long overdue are coming. But for now, let's talk about a little project by a Polish video game developer called BitGolem, a two-person studio which produced an interactive novel in the form of Dagon, a free indie game. And when I say an interactive novel, I mean it in the most literal sense. Dagon, as well as its DLCs, essentially allow you to go on a little read-along through some of H.P. Lovecraft's stories as well as a dream described in one of his letters that never became a full-fledged story. The gameplay is, well, not terribly complex, to be honest. You look around and click along to move to the next location and listen to further parts of the story. But to give you some more interactivity, the developers hid a lot of secret symbols scattered throughout the locations, which reward you with trivias pertaining to the Cthulhu mythos the historical context behind the relevant scenes and the time period, as well as some facts about the author himself. It's a humble game in the gameplay aspect, but what really made me like Dagon was the care that went into visual and sound design as well as the narration. Everything was lovingly crafted and well put together to make sure that the atmosphere is palpable and it's a great way to witness these stories. The ambient sounds in the background. The moody lighting. The music. All of those things come together to create an immersive little experience. And the hidden marks provide it with some replayability. There really isn't a way for me to talk about the stories themselves without spoilers, as old as they are. But if you're just starting your journey with cosmic horror, this is a great way to do that. And if you're already a fan of Lovecraft as I am, I think you'll enjoy these. So far, other than the titular Dagon, the game also includes Eldritch Box, the Little Glass Bottle, the Railway Horror, and what the moon brings, with the last one being a timed console exclusive. The base game is free, with the other stories being paid DLCs, but considering that the devs gotta eat and a share of the profits go to charity, I'd say that's a pretty fair deal. That's it for today's video. Have a happy Halloween, guys. I'm Audio Man, and I'll hear you next time.